Welcome everyone to this week's installment of Santino Sunday Cigar Review. Today we're reviewing Pete Johnson's Tatuaje line. I'm Mike. I'm Mark. And uh, yeah, we're, we're excited about this. We're going to go next three weeks. We're playing with Tatuaje and we wanted to kind of touch every aspect we could of what Pete Johnson offers. So we're uh, getting ready to dive into what we're smoking and we're playing with all the monsters. All right, so we're starting this first week with Tatuaje Cigars, and we're breaking down a couple of these 2016 Skinny Monsters. I'll be smoking the face, and Mike's going to be smoking the tiff. Mike, why don't you go ahead and break down what it is we're doing? Well, your cigar's uh, face is a Mexican San Andreas wrapper, a Nicaraguan binder, a Nicaraguan filler, and uh, built at the My Father factory in Nicaragua. Uh, I'll be smoking Tiff, which is an Ecuadorian Connecticut shade wrapper, Nicaraguan, and binder and filler. Right, and both made at that My Father factory, which with Pete Johnson and Tatuaje, we, we know why that's so close and um, really excited. Let's get these things lit up and see what's going on. So we got the face and the Tiff lit up. We're smoking into these. We're going to talk about what we're tasting here in a minute. But we're playing with these 2016 Skinny Monsters paired with a Boulevard Quadruple Ale, the sixth glass. Um, the Skinny Monsters, it's its a different idea that comes out each year from Pete Johnson. He's kind of done them in other forms with the original 2013 Monsters, then the Pudgy Monsters, and now you have the Skinny Monsters. Uh, each year around Halloween, one of the cigars is released that talks about, it pays homage to a horror movie. You look at them, you got the Drac, the Face, Jekyll, Hyde, Frank, Tiff, Chucky. Each one pays homage to a scary movie right around Halloween. It just, it plays into the fun. Um, the whole collection is here for the 2016s. It's a, it, it's, we're, we're gonna dive more into it, but it's a very unique kind of smoking experience. But Mike, give me what, let me know what you think about that Tiff so far with that quadruple ale. You know, what's going on, man? All right, so the Tiff is, I would consider it a more mild, mellow smoke with that Ecuadorian wrapper. It's uniquely different. I will say that when we talk about pairing cigars with any kind of um, libation, whether it's a beer or a bourbon or scotch, pairing implies some kind of symmetry or, or, or melding into one another. And I find these to be contrastly different, so you would think it, they wouldn't work. But it's 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 ironically interesting mm. to try. So they are it, it is a it is an interesting pairing, but um, worth trying. So sometimes you have to kind of just think outside that box right. when when pairing something. And uh, this is not a combination <laughs> that you would pick, but it's it's interesting together. Right, and it's kind of funny because if you watched last week's Just the Tip, I had Baxter on for that little segment, and we talked about how important pairing is and how you gotta play with balances and whatnot. So when we were picking the pairing today, it was almost, we were trying to do a little gamble a little bit. Wanted to take something that's got some spices, that's got some fruity, but it's also got that backdrop liquor ale taste and throw it against something and just see what would have happened. So sometimes we have fun too. Yeah, it starts out, the cigar starts out peppery <clears throat> in your mouth and with the sixth glass, it, it's kind of like a syrupy, uh, finish. But right, like, it leaves like a cognac kind of thing in the back yes. of the palate. A nah. little tingle. So this this face here, uh, smoking it, you know, getting through it, and having some fun with it, this thing gives you a tour of Nicaragua. It really does. Uh, that binder and that filler, that San Andreas wrapper, uh, Mexican San Andreas wrapper, does typically what I always say it does. It's nice and dry. It's got that dry spice, just that, you know, too much black pepper on your fries. That spice. That's what's there. But then you get this you know, beat on the head, natural tour of Nicaragua. Those words that everybody uses, you know, spice, oak, sand, dirt, earth, whatever. It's all in there. You got a little bit of some sweetness. You got a little bit of some spice. Um, the smoke doesn't resonate too much. Like It's kind of hard to tell the difference, but the tiff lets off a lot of smoke compared to the face. 
The face is a little bit more of a dancer, and this guy's just kind of, you know, jaywalking up and down the street. So um, that breaks down to to rapper build things like that. We don't have to dive into that. But um, it when the smoke comes in, like Mike said with that with that quadruple ale, the way it kind of builds up on your palate, it it's something that when we looked at it, it shouldn't have worked. But interestingly enough, it it makes it some fun. And what is the price point on this series of cigars? Um, here at Santino's, each one of the monsters run at nine dollars. Um, we actually have a pack that's been put together at eighty five that contains all the monsters. All two thousand sixteen monsters are in the pack. Um, if you can, we'll get into the try by and deny here in a little while. But if you can find the collection of monsters, do your best to get out there and, and, and do what you can with it. It's a great. I know it's kind of funny when people say collector's piece for cigars, but it's a great collector piece to have. It's a lot of fun. Um, if you're one of those Halloween nerds, this thing's got to do great for you. I know a lot of people like to collect the, the coffins or the boxes right, that, right. that they come in. So we're going to come back shortly, smoke into these a little bit. We're going to be back with our uh, tri buyer than I, and we're going to break these things down. Might just surprise somebody today. All right, it's time for that much anticipated tri buyer deny portion of our show, and we're going to tell you why. Uh, okay, I won't piss anybody off this week. I won't, I won't deny anything. I heard you anything. got in trouble yeah, last week. Yeah, I yelled week. that a little bit. People got mad at me. Um, when it comes to these monsters, and I know, unfortunately, during this three-part series, we're only going to smoke these two because I guess we want to explore Tatuaje. When it comes to these monsters, for me, I'm, I'm a huge fan of the monsters. Part of it resonates in that idea of the horror movies and, and all that and the collectible side of it. But you guys know I'm, I'm from past episodes i'm not a lancero guy but because you play around nick rockland tobacco is my favorite and i know people have favorite tobaccos or think they don't know whatever but because of the way everything stays in that build all of these cigars are always comfortable for me they're a lot of fun to have so for me the cigar is a, definitely a buy but if not if you can find them try them try each one go through the the whole realm of monsters play with them and i'm almost certain you're going to find the one that that you like if not all of them mike uh for me i've had the the pleasure of smoking the whole series uh there's some that are just incredible i'm gonna give a deny on the tiff uh just fired fired i hope i don't get any hate mail this week uh the series is a great series like i said this was just a little mild for me um it, it took at least the first third for it to really evolve. Someone's stepping their smoking game so, up. Uh, <laughs> so I wasn't as patient today waiting for that to happen. But like I said, the series, like Mark said, is definitely worth trying and uh, get a sample bag, one of each. Right, without a doubt. Um, what'd you think about, the, about let's, final thoughts on that Boulevard Six Glass, that quadruple ale? Once again, it's one of those unique beers that I don't think many people even try they don't leave their comfort zone mm -hmm. but for a guy like me you know i don't enjoy beer mm -hmm. and this is something i can drink so i think there's a lot of beer out there that uh that a lot of people should try and they they just need to get out of that 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 comfort zone that they're used to but this is a very unique awkward strange but pleasant combination right i agree i think you know we, we took a chance diving into the, these two specific cigars with this beer but I think if, if you're smoking, you know, the dra the Drac, maybe even the Wolf of, of the Monster series, uh, something a little fuller, the beer would be I I, I agree. I, I agree. And I think that's, for me, the tip was a little too light. So it wasn't, right. a, it, it, yeah, it didn't really hit the mark for me. Right. All right. A shout out to our comment winner, Jason Parsons. Congratulations, buddy. You're going to win the cigars from last week. Um, come down, pick your cigars up. You know, the opportunity to be on the show is always there. And uh, that's our wrap for week one with Tatuaje Cigars and the Skinny Monsters. Well, I'm Mike. And I'm Mark. And remember, here at Santino's, we smoke, we drink, and we know things. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>